How's it going everybody? Today we're going to talk about closed sets. A set is closed if it's closed under both addition and multiplication. For example, if we think about the integers, if we take two integers and we add them together, we're going to get an integer, and if we multiply two integers, we're also going to get an integer. An example of where this would happen is if we consider the integers 2 and 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5, an integer, and 2 times 3 is 6, also an integer. The rationals are also closed. If we consider two rationals, maybe 1 half and 3 fourths, if we add 1 half plus 3 fourths, we get 6 fourths, and if we multiply 1 half times 3 fourths, we get 3 eighths. Both of those are rational numbers. We can use the fact that the integers are closed to prove that the rationals are also closed. So we'll consider two rational numbers, a divided by b and c divided by d, where a, b, c, and d are all integers, and b and d are not equal to zero. If we add a divided by b plus c divided by d, we get a, d, an integer, plus b, c, also an integer, so their sum is an integer, and we're dividing by b, d, which is a non-zero integer, thus the rationals are closed under addition. Now if we consider a divided by b times c divided by d, we have ac divided by bd, bd is a non-zero integer, and ac is an integer, thus we're closed under multiplication. Some other examples of closed sets are the reals. If you take any two real numbers and you add them together, you'll get a real number. And if you multiply any two real numbers together, you'll also get a real number. A bigger example is the complex numbers. If you take two complex numbers and you add them together, you'll get a complex number. And if you multiply them, you'll also get a complex number. Now a set which is not closed, that's pretty easy to consider, is a set of irrational numbers. So consider two irrational numbers. It seems that if we add them or multiply them, we should get irrationals back. But that's not the case. Consider the irrational number square root of 2. If we multiply square root of 2 times the square root of 2, we get square root of 2 squared, which is just 2, which is not an irrational number. Similarly, if we think about the irrational numbers pi and negative pi, if we add them together, we get 0, which is not an irrational number. Thus, the irrational numbers are not closed. And that's going to do it for this one. If you guys liked it, hit the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.